Kari apparently didn't come to us from the Mughals and uh, Saraswati is important. I hope uh, those two points have been noted. And we'll come back to this because, like I said, the whole idea is to have a clear story about our origin, about ourselves. This is not so much out there about what happened 4,000 years ago, but it is about the life that we lead now and how the information about how we process the knowledge system informs pretty much everything that we do in our lives. And we'll stitch this together once again, once we hear from Professor Chaube about the latest uh, in your research area. We've gone from the macro about the story of civilization to the Aryan question, to what's happening in the intersection of uh, archeology span and genetics. Tell us about uh, your research findings and how they weave into the story. Namaste everyone. I'm very happy to be here. And uh, thanks to the organizers and uh, associated people for inviting me here. Uh, let us uh, uh, start some story about uh, how I got interested in this uh, area of research. I was, uh, I wanted to be a, a scientist since uh, my childhood because I living in the village and playing cricket with uh, several kind of uh, ancestry and several kind of uh, people who are from uh, various caste groups. I wanted to, I mean, I was very fascinated to, to learn that how this caste group has originated. So, uh, but my father being a teacher, he wanted to make me a doctor and I failed twice. When I failed, then he said, okay, now you do whatever you want. And that was the great point for me to start working in this field. First I came, uh, first I went to, uh, to the Drosophila lab and I was fascinated with Drosophila. I thought that, okay, my whole life will be uh, finishing to count the eggs of Drosophila and working many techniques with Drosophila. Uh, but then suddenly I met with uh, Dr. Lalji Singh, the director of CCMB Hyderabad. And by reading the books, uh, that was 90s, the time of uh, 90, uh, 97, 98. So uh, by reading the books, uh, we used to understand that the Austroasiatics are the people who came from Africa, something like 60,000 years. They are the aborigine and still uh, Rahul Gandhi says that uh, they are the Adivasi people. And then uh, the Dravidian who came from uh, Mesopotamia, then the Aryan who came from uh, Central Asia, say Steppe Belt. So these were the narratives which I used to learn from, uh, from my books. And then uh, I met uh, uh, with uh, Dr. Lalji Singh. And then I asked, sir, I wanted to check my DNA because being a Brahmin, I presume that uh, my ancestry is somewhere not in India and my ancestors are not from here. So he allowed me to go to the CCMB Hyderabad and first I took my blood, took out the DNA, then started working with that. And then the result was completely different. And that result actually driven me to start working on the Indian population. So I would, I would not hide my result. I would tell you my result. So my mitochondrial DNA, my maternal ancestry, which comes from my great, great grandmother, that has originated in India something like 65,000 years back. I am haplogroup M2. I am closest. I share closest ancestry with Koya population, a population in Andhra Pradesh, a tribal population that goes back 18,000 years. And my Y chromosome, that is paternal ancestry, that also connects to the Gotra, that shares a common ancestry with Kshatriya something like 2,500 years back from Uttar Pradesh. And that goes back uh, with 8,000 years, shares with Santhal, the tribe of Jharkhand, something like 8,000 years back. So this is the, my ancestry. And that maybe uh, then I thought maybe I am the exception. So I started working with the Brahmins. I'm still working with the Brahmins, something like 20 years. Still, I could not finish that result. So you know the complexity of Brahmin is much more complex. So, so let us uh, let us come to the to the main point that uh, the results of uh, Indian ancestry uh, being uh, being in this area something like 20 years, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, the the narratives which has started from that Austroasiatics are the aborigine the the original people of India rest of them are the one who came later from somewhere else. Out of, uh, out of India, other parts of the world. That became wrong because Austroasiatic are, are the population who itself come, uh, came from Southeast Asia, something like 
2000 BC. And uh, one thing uh, everyone should understand that if some population living in uh, this area, and if we start comparing them with a population living in Varanasi, a population living in Kolkata, so this population would naturally show more genes with Kolkata population comparing to a population living to Varanasi. The reason is there is a phenomena in population genetics called isolation by distance model. We share more genes with our neighbors comparing to any distant neighbor. And that also applies with the genes. And at the moment, with the current research, the available data, what we see that the overall in India, the Harappan ancestry is around 60 to 65%. The hunter-gatherer ancestry that is associated with Andaman Islanders, that is around 30 to 35 percent. And people, they, they call that ancestry that is associated with the step belt, that is also present in India, but that amount is 5 to 10 percent. That is more to the northwestern part of India, to the Pakistan. The region is, there is not the movement of the people, like the people who are living uh, living in northwestern part of India, living, people living in the Europe, if we compare with the southern part of India, the northwestern part of India would naturally share by the isolation by distance model more genes, but that gene is not by the migration of the people. That is only because of the long term of the, the, the settlement process that, that derive the genes from one region to another region that is the gene surfing phenomena. So this 5 to 10 percent ancestry is, come, uh, is, is also like uh, that one can correlate with the timing of the, the several invasions like Hunas and then many, many other groups. And also uh, this ancestry is not like one time ancestry except for the two population, Roars and the Jats. These two population, they share very phenomenal uh, inputs that that could connect them with the with the Central Asians or connect with the even uh, Latvian, Lithuanian, and Estonians. But that is a different story comparing to the other Indian populations. Thank you. So we've got the first round of perspectives from uh, uh, the multiple disciplines, uh, ranging from history to a generalist account of uh, genetics to archaeology, historical uh, excavation and genetics to population genetics. And I would 